Hi friends, I'm Juna Mobi, and today's video is all about tailoring and dyeing clothing in Stardew Valley, something I think is a little overlooked in the game. Before I get into the meat and potatoes of it all, no tailoring can be done without a sewing machine, and there are two ways you will be able to access one yourself. The first will become available after acquiring your first piece of cloth in the game. The morning after doing so, you'll find Emily will appear in a cutscene outside of your home and will tell you that you can tailor your clothes using the sewing machine at her house and from there on out you'll have access whenever you're able to enter Emily and Haley's home. The second sewing machine available in the game allows you to sew from the convenience of your own home or anywhere really as it is a personal sewing machine that is portable. To get your hands on this one, you'll need to complete the Rock Rejuvenation Special Order that appears on the Special Orders board that will become available starting on the 2nd of Fall Year 1 and will sit outside in front of the fence surrounding Mayor Lewis's home. Now that you have access to a sewing machine, the interface used is fairly simplistic. When tailoring an item such as a shirt, shorts, pants, skirts, hats, etc., you will need to input one cloth into this feed on the left where you'll see the cloth graphic, and on the right spool section you will input the item you want to use to craft your clothing piece. Although almost every item will produce a piece of clothing, there are some items that cannot be used to tailor clothing and these items will be grayed out, making you unable to run the machine. I'm not going to go into every single piece of clothing you can sew because 1. that would take forever and 2. it is much more fun to do that on your own, but if you do need some help you can always reference the Stardew Valley wiki. I do want to point out however that adding a prismatic shard into the right spool slot will always create a prismatic clothing piece, however the type of clothing piece will be random. Just a fun little piece of information. Also please note that not every clothing piece in game can be tailored. There are a few shirts, for example, that can only be chosen at character creation, as well as clothing that is gifted at a heart event, some shirts you can only buy at the Oasis occasionally, some pieces are only available at the Desert Trader, and the majority of hats in the game will need to be purchased from the Hat Mouse. Not to mention the hats that are rare drops throughout the game. If you've noticed that I haven't spoken about shoes at all up to this point, that is because shoes cannot be tailored in Stardew Valley. Instead, you'll find shoes in places like chests in the mines, sold at the Adventurers Guild, and some as special drops throughout the valley. But now that we have an understanding of how tailoring works, let's move on to something I think is a little less of common knowledge in Stardew. Dyeing clothing. If you saw any of my Halloween costume series that I released this past October, or any video where I've created clothing pieces in Stardew Valley, you may have noticed that we do a lot of dyeing of clothing, and I have never gone into detail about how you might go about doing that yourself. Before we fully get into it, I want to clarify that not every clothing piece can be dyed. There are a number of both shirts and bottoms that will not be affected, as well as all hats and shoes. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. There are three ways to dye your clothing. The first is the easiest, but the least accurate. When opening up your sewing machine, you may put your clothing piece you'd like to dye in the slot where you would normally put your cloth. Then, in the spool slot, you can put an item of the color you wish to dye your piece, and after running the machine, you will find that your clothing has been dyed to a color that is somewhere in between the original color of the clothing piece and the item used. But, this being said, you can dye a piece of clothing as many times as you want. Also, certain items have different dye strengths, so it might take one item one run through the machine to achieve the color you're looking for, another item may take up to four times as many runs. So all in all, this method is fairly easy and can be cost effective, but not the most effective for specific coloring. Option 2 requires you to go to Emily and Haley's home and use these dye pots here next to Emily's personal sewing machine. This method is slightly more complicated, but it is also much more precise. Wearing the items you'd like to be dyed, you will need to input an item of each color into the six corresponding dye pots and after doing so, you'll be able to choose the specific color you'd like for your items using HSL sliders for ultimate accuracy. My personal favorite thing about this method is that you'll be able to dye multiple pieces at a time for no additional cost. Our final dyeing option combines the ease of our first option and the accuracy of the second. Using the sewing machine once again, you'll simply need to put the clothing item you like dyed in the left feed slot and what will go in the spool slot this time is either a prismatic shard or a rainbow shell and you will be brought to the HSL sliders menu and from there you can color your clothing piece as you wish. The downsides to this are only being able to dye one piece at a time and the obvious downside of having to use a valuable item. 
Rainbow shells may not be considered valuable, but they are less common to come by as they are only found on the beach in the summer and rarely in a few other places. This method, however, is my personal favorite of the three in the late game because I definitely value the effortlessness. I also want to quickly mention that although you cannot dye your shoes, there is one way you can change the appearance of them while keeping their stats. To create your pair of custom tailored boots or shoes, place the pair with the appearance you prefer in the lower left cloth slot and the pair you want for stats in the upper right spool slot and after running the machine, the shoes will consume each other to create your custom tailored shoes. You can also be sure you've input them correctly by looking at this little area here. Okay, so now that you are a Stardew Valley tailoring expert, we will put all of those new learned skills into making the Junimo bead look. So step one, let's pull out our sewing machine to start working on our shirt. The signature Junimo bee shirt is this purple rainbow one, and what we need in order to make this is one cloth and a lucky lunch. Putting our cloth in the left feed slot and our item lucky lunch in the upper right spool slot, we will run the machine and just like that we've made the top. As we talked about earlier, this is one of those clothing pieces that cannot be dyed, so we will leave it as is. For the bottoms, I am a shorts curl, and something I didn't actually mention earlier but I do think is important to note now is that certain clothing pieces can be created from multiple different items. The shorts we're going to make, for example, can be tailored with one of four different items. We can use a cloth and a grape, a cloth and a blueberry, a cloth and a hot pepper, or a cloth and a melon. Being that each of these items are different colors and shorts are a dyeable clothing piece, depending on which item used, the shorts will come out a different color coinciding with what we put in. For the purposes of this video, we will make our pair of shorts with a hot pepper so that we can really emphasize the dyeing process. Once again, adding cloth to the right slot and our item to the left, after running the machine, we've created our shorts. Now these have come out red and the signature color is obviously purple, so it's now time to dye them. Just to be a little extra, we're going to head to Emily's dye pots to get this job done. Adding an item of each color, we are brought to the HSL sliders to then adjust our shorts to the signature purple. And just like that, we've tailored the signature Junimo B look, with the addition of purple shoes. So that's pretty much it. I hope this quick guide was helpful at least a little bit, and if you liked it, I would love if you would like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos all about Stardew Valley in the future. And if you do want to see a video where I put my money where my mouth is and show a ton of different options of clothing you can make yourself, be sure to check out my video where I make 50 costumes in Stardew Valley. I will also be sure to put any of my social channels right here if you're interested in checking those out, and they will also be linked on my channel, including my Discord. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!